Hey everyone! Today we're diving into a topic that's both intriguing and, at times, a little bit perplexing – mind games and psychological warfare techniques. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you felt like someone was playing mind games with you? Or perhaps you've wondered about the psychological tactics at play in those moments of intense social dynamics? Well, you're in the right place because today we're going to explore this fascinating realm together. But before we go any further, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. That way, you won't miss any of our deep dives into the human psyche. Trust me, it's a journey you won't want to miss. Now, before we unravel the intricacies of mind games and psychological warfare, it's crucial to set a few ground rules. We're here to understand, not manipulate. Our goal is to equip ourselves with knowledge that promotes healthy interactions and self-awareness. So, as we embark on this exploration, let's keep an open mind and remember the responsibility that comes with understanding the psychological nuance now. Without further ado, let's jump into the captivating world of mind games and psychological warfare techniques. Get ready for a roller coaster ride through the twists and turns of the human mind. Buckle up, hit that like button, and let's get started. Now, we're going to lay the groundwork for our exploration into mind games and psychological warfare. It's essential to understand the basics before we dive into specific techniques. So, grab a pen and paper, because you might want to take some notes on this one. At its core, psychological warfare involves the use of psychological tactics to influence someone's emotions, thoughts, and behaviors. It's a complex dance that occurs in various aspects of our lives, from personal relationships to broader societal interactions. To grasp the depth of psychological warfare, let's take a quick look at its historical context. Throughout history, nations and individuals have employed psychological tactics to gain an edge in conflicts. Understanding this history helps us appreciate the significance of these techniques. Whether it's propaganda during wartime or subtle manipulation in everyday life, psychological warfare is often about gaining a psychological advantage over others. But here's the crucial point. Our focus is on understanding rather than exploiting. Before we proceed, it's essential to discuss ethical considerations. Knowledge is a powerful tool, and with great power comes great responsibility. Our goal is not to encourage manipulation, but to empower you with insights that foster healthy relationships and self-awareness. Now let's dive into the specifics, the common mind games that many of us encounter in our daily lives. Brace yourselves for some eye-opening insights. Our first stop is the intriguing world of mind games, where subtle maneuvers can have a significant impact on our thoughts and emotions. Keep in mind that awareness is our best defense against these tactics. So, let's start with a classic gaslighting. Gaslighting is a mind game that involves manipulating someone into questioning their own sanity or perception of reality. It's like a psychological sleight of hand, making you doubt what you know to be true. This can happen in personal relationships, workplaces, or even among friends. Imagine being told, you're too sensitive, or that never happened. These are classic gaslighting phrases. Recognizing these subtle cues can help you maintain your sense of reality and stand firm in your beliefs. Next up on our journey is projection. It's like watching a movie where someone takes their inner feelings, fears, or desires and projects them onto others. Understanding projection can be a game changer in interpersonal dynamics. Have you ever been accused of something you didn't do, only to realize later that the accuser was actually talking about themselves? That's projection in action. It's a fascinating phenomenon that reveals more about the projector than the person being accused. We encounter projection in various scenarios, from workplace dynamics to family interactions. By identifying it, we gain insights into others' insecurities and, more importantly, learn not to internalize false accusations. Last but certainly not least, let's talk about the silent treatment. It's a powerful form of manipulation where communication is deliberately withheld. This tactic can leave you feeling isolated and anxious, wondering what went wrong. The silent treatment is more than just an absence of words. It's a strategic move to control a situation. Understanding its impact on mental well-being is crucial for navigating these challenging moments. To sum it up, we've explored three common mind games – gaslighting, projection, and the silent treatment. Each of these tactics has its own psychological impact and being aware of them empowers us to navigate social dynamics with greater clarity. Remember, our goal is knowledge and understanding, not manipulation. 
Before we move forward, share your thoughts in the comments. Have you ever encountered these techniques in your life? How did you handle it? Your experiences could help others navigate similar situations. Ready for more insights? We're just scratching the surface of our exploration into mind games and psychological warfare. Now, we're going to arm ourselves with strategies to counteract the mind games we've explored. Remember, knowledge is our shield, and understanding these tactics is the first step toward maintaining healthy relationships. Let's jump right in. The first line of defense against mind games is awareness. By being aware of the tactics at play, you're less likely to fall victim to manipulation. So, let's talk about how you can sharpen your awareness. Pay attention to patterns in communication if you notice consistent attempts to shift blame. Invalidate your feelings or create confusion, you might be dealing with mind games. Trust your instincts and don't dismiss your gut feelings. Now armed with awareness, let's move on to another powerful tool, communication skills. Effective communication is like a superpower that allows you to navigate tricky situations with finesse. Express yourself clearly and assertively. Use I statements to convey your feelings and thoughts without placing blame. By doing so, you not only set boundaries, but also encourage open and honest communication. Setting boundaries is essential in any relationship. It's about defining what is and isn't acceptable behavior. Let others know where you stand and be firm in upholding those boundaries. For example, if you sense gaslighting, calmly state your perspective and stand by it. If someone is projecting their issues onto you, gently redirect the conversation back to the facts. And if you're facing the silent treatment, use it as an opportunity to express your feelings and encourage open dialogue. Being assertive is a game changer. It means expressing your thoughts and feelings while respecting others. It's about standing up for yourself without being aggressive. Practice assertiveness and you'll find that it can disarm many mind games. Practice assertive body language, maintain eye contact, and use a confident yet respectful tone. Remember, you have the right to express yourself and your feelings are valid. Self-reflection is a powerful tool in our arsenal. Take a moment to reflect on your own emotions and reactions. Ask yourself, am I reacting to the situation or playing into a mind game? This self-awareness can be a game changer in maintaining emotional well-being. Now, in this segment, we're diving into real-world examples, from historical events to portrayals in pop culture. Let's unravel the fascinating tapestry of psychological tactics together. First up, let's explore how psychological warfare has played a role in historical events. Throughout time, nations have used various tactics to gain a psychological edge in conflicts. One prominent example is during World War II. Wartime propaganda is a classic example. Governments used posters, films, and radio broadcasts to manipulate public perception, boost morale, and even demoralize the enemy. It's a stark reminder of the impact psychological tactics can have on a mass scale. The Cold War provides another intriguing chapter in the history of psychological warfare. Both the United States and the Soviet Union engaged in a battle of ideologies, employing tactics to influence not just their citizens, but also global opinion. From disinformation campaigns to cultural exchanges, the Cold War was as much a psychological struggle as a political one. Understanding these historical examples sheds light on the enduring nature of psychological tactics in the realm of geopolitics. Now, let's fast forward to the present day. In our interconnected world, the rise of social media has given new dimensions to psychological warfare. Disinformation campaigns can now spread like wildfire, influencing public opinion and sowing discord. The challenge today is distinguishing between fact and fiction, especially when information can be weaponized to manipulate public sentiment. It's a reminder of the importance of critical thinking and media literacy in the digital age. Shifting gears, let's explore how mind games are portrayed in pop culture. Movies, TV shows, and literature often provide a mirror to societal dynamics, offering both entertainment and insights into the human psyche. For instance, films like Ease Lights and A Beautiful Mind delve into the psychological manipulation of individuals. These narratives not only entertain, but also invite us to reflect on the ethical dimensions of mind games. While pop culture can be a powerful storyteller, it's essential to approach these portrayals with a critical eye. Fictional depictions may romanticize or oversimplify the complexities of psychological warfare. Always remember the line between fiction and reality. 
I encourage you to reflect on the real-world examples we've explored. How do historical events and pop culture portrayals resonate with your understanding of psychological warfare? Share your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear your perspectives. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this exploration. Your engagement fuels the growth of our community, and I appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't already, consider subscribing for more thought-provoking content. As we navigate the complexities of the human mind together, remember that knowledge is a tool, and how we wield, it shapes our impact on the world. Stay curious, stay compassionate, and stay informed. Until next time.